Do you get triggered when your child disrespects you? Hello everyone, I'm KJ with Big Life Journal. Today we're going to be discussing disrespect from your child and what you can do about it. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our parenting tips on raising growth-minded children. All right, let's get started. As a parent, it can be infuriating when your child disrespects you. You may feel like you deserve their respect because you're older, wiser, and have more experience. This is actually an authoritarian way of viewing the parent-child relationship. The truth is, nobody is entitled to anybody's respect. Not even a child's. Respect is something you earn, and the way you model and treat children with respect teaches them how to respect you back. Demanding respect using fear-based tactics is also not the way to go. With positive parenting, you want your child to genuinely have respect for you without damaging the relationship you have with them. If your child is being disrespectful, ask yourself, what behavior is triggering you? Label the behavior and then ask yourself, what is happening in my body when my child behaves this way? The behavior itself is not bad, it's neutral, but it's the meaning you give the behavior that translates as bad in your mind and body. Conscious parenting involves asking questions to dig deep and figure out where these meanings stem from. Your child's behavior is not actually the problem here. When you react to your child's triggering behavior, it's because some part of you learned that that behavior is bad, wrong, or unsafe. You can reflect back and think, what would have happened to me as a child if I had behaved this way? Chances are you would have been punished, yelled at, or experienced something that was genuinely scary for you as a child. So your young body and mind learned this behavior is not safe. Now as an adult, anytime you experience a similar situation, your body automatically goes into that fight, flight, or freeze response to protect you from something that feels like a similar threat, even if that perceived threat is your child's behavior. Take some time to reflect on your triggers. What patterns do you notice? Where do you feel it in your body? Do you get a knot in your stomach? Does your heart start racing? Maybe your chest feels tight or you clench your fists or your jaw. The more awareness you have around your triggers and knowing what's going on for you in your body during those triggering moments, the more prepared you can be at finding the right coping mechanisms to help you feel safe again during those moments. If you're looking for additional resources on finding your calm during those triggering moments, you can click on the link below to get a free copy of our Calming Strategies for Adults printable. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We'll see you back here next week with another positive parenting tip on raising growth-minded children. Bye!